Hello and welcome to the March edition of the Dairy Market Update. This month I'll be talking about the factors that impact milk production, following from the Milk Forecasting Forum that AHDB hosted last month. Now, milk production is basically a function of the number of cows in milk and the yield of these cows. By considering what might be influencing these two factors, we can see what the key themes driving milk production volumes will be in the upcoming milk year. So, let's start by looking at the number of cows. Over the past few years, there's been a continual move away from dairy towards beef inseminations. A particular drop in dairy inseminations was seen in 2015 due to the poor financial situation at the time. As you can see, this is now influencing the makeup of the herd with a significant reduction in the number of young stock coming through. This would be expected to reduce milk production capacity over the coming year. Of course, it's possible lower young stock numbers could be counteracted by higher retention rates this year. Is this likely? Well, historically, there has been a relationship between long-term milk prices and the proportion of cows retained in the herd. When milk prices remain high, farmers tend to hold on to more cows. The 12-month rolling average for milk price for December did come out slightly above the long-term baseline of 28 pence per litre, which means you would have expected retention rates to be higher than normal. However, as you can see, this hasn't happened and may be a result of continual cash flow challenges on farm or uncertainty over the future direction of prices. Either way, the expectation is for a smaller dairy herd in 2018. The timing of calvings within the herd is also important in milk production forecasting as it affects the number of cows being milked at any particular time. As you can see, the proportion of cows calving in August to October has been moving up in recent years. This means less milk can be expected in the June to September period, with more being delivered in October to January instead. The impact on milk production in the spring is pretty insignificant. So, now let's move on to the second half of the equation, which is milk yields. An analysis shows a relationship between year-on-year -year movements in milk yields and the milk-to-feed price ratio. Milk prices are high in relation to feed prices at present, which should encourage a drive towards higher yields. However, as can be seen, they aren't quite as high as might be anticipated, and more recently have started to drop off. Again, this likely reflects concern from producers over the future direction of milk prices and possibly the result of poorer quality silage. Consequently, milk yields are currently being held back somewhat. Altogether, it therefore seems likely that despite the potential for good yields driven by the milk to feed price ratio, a smaller herd and limited producer optimism means milk production this year is expected to be somewhat restricted and certainly below the 2015 peak. Of course, a number of other factors, including the weather, will also come into play as time moves on. At HDB, we will continue to monitor the key factors affecting the milk production over the coming months. To find the most up-to-date analysis surrounding the outlook for milk production this year, please visit the market section of the HDB Dairy website.